Hi friends, it's Larissa. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom YouTube watermark using Canva. So let's go. So first off, we are going to create a design that, we're going to custom design. We're going to go 150 by 150 pixels. So I'm going to show you exactly how I create my watermark. So at this point, you can create whatever you want. It's your creative freedom. I've also seen people just uh, put their profile picture as their watermark, which is also very smart too. So this is how I do mine. So I have a folder of elements that I use all the time, and this is a blurb, blob of a gradient. And so you can find this as well if you just search up a gradient blob or some sort of gradient on the elements over here. So I'm just going to change this color here. I'm going to use this brand kit. I'm going to change that to blue. Mm, maybe this one purple, this one blue. Just play around with it. And I'm going to expand this a little bit more here. Okay, I have that one, and then I'm going to use this lotus flower here, and I'm going to make it white. Oops, oops. Now, there is a method to my madness, just wait for it. Now, I'm going to go and add my subscribe word, verbiage, word, words, yeah. Subscribe, if I can spell it right. Nope, there we go. And so this is just open sans extra for the font. And then what I'm going to do is go right up here and just fix the spacing in between. What I wanna do is make it as big as I can right where I'm going to center it properly and then I'm going to change it to white. Now at this point what I'm going to do is download this as a PNG with a transparent background and as you can see here it is a Canva Pro element but I highly suggest you get Canva Pro because it's amazing. And if you would like to try Canva Pro for a free 30 day trial I do have an affiliate link down in the description box or in the pinned comments down below. It is an affiliate link, so I do earn a little bit of commission if you decide to purchase Canva Pro through that link, but that would really help because I need to survive. <laughs> okay, so now that you have that saved as a PNG, and this is how we are going to use it for YouTube. So go to your YouTube studio. Here is my dashboard. So on the left hand side, you want to scroll down and go into customization. Now go into the branding tab here and then it says down here we have watermark. Um, in order to upload that all you got to do is just press change and then go into your downloads wherever you saved it. That's what it looks like. Okay it's very small, very tiny but you just press OK and then just press save. So that's pretty much it. You just press publish and then you are ready to roll. And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see my other Canva YouTube related tutorials, check them out right over here. And until next time, I'll see you all next time. Bye friends.